my name is Carly Caverly. We are in Dr. Wilcox lab and at the University of Kentucky. And uh, my role in here is an undergraduate research assistant. And um, I am working with the PhD student, Erica. And um, I am studying the uh, inflammatory response when treating Alzheimer's disease when vascular dementia is present. I'm from northern Kentucky, an hour away. And um, I got involved with the more science aspect, mostly in high school, because um, I started to flourish in science and math. And when coming to college, I wanted to make a career of it. So um, I chose to major in chemical engineering, and um, I wanted to focus more on the pharmaceutical aspect. And um, when speaking to my peers and professors, and um, I met with other professors doing research in their labs as well, and when I came across Donna's lab, I just knew I had to embrace the opportunity. When meeting with different professors about their labs and what kind of research they did, um, at first, I started out more interested in the cancer field, and I met with a lot of professors there wondering what they did in their labs. And like I said, once I met up with Donna and realized there was more than just the cancer field, um, Alzheimer's really spiked my interest. And um, I knew that I should just follow my heart, and I wanted to get more involved with the brain, and I knew this was the place to start. So my project is um, looking at the inflammatory response of um, when treating Alzheimer's disease when vascular dementia is present. And what I'm doing is um, a lot of the staining. It's aminohistochemistry staining, which is um, what we do with uh, sections of brains. And we can see with the staining, we'll put them on a microscope and see different types of things that that certain staining is supposed to represent. And another type of staining I've done is um, the histograph, and um, it is a Congo impression stain, and um, that also, they're supposed to point out specific parts from that stain, and that's what I've looked at so far, and I've done those stainings as well. So along with the immunohistochemistry staining, I do a histology stain, which is um, Congo stain, impression stain, fall under that, and um, just like the immunohistochemistry stain, it's supposed to point out different parts of the brain and what we're looking for in that certain section. I wanted to go, when I first came to college, um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my degree. And after finding out more and more of what I could do and actually getting into the lab, um, I really hope to take what I've learned here, go and receive my PhD after college and make a whole career of it rather than just having it be a section of my college experience. I'd say don't get scared. I mean, I know it sounds really difficult, but if you make the right connections and if you really pursue your dream and work hard to do it, then it'll definitely be worth it because you'll be really excited and happy with where you're at. <laughs>